fellow crafters, Craftily Creative Lady here. Today is all about you and your silhouette software and me to tell you all about it. Let's get crafting. Manipulating your text in your text boxes. Text that you create and text already created before. During the creation of text on your page, you can open this additional text style menu to the right hand side of your screen. It's this one right here, this button. If you click on it, you have a text style menu. So this menu gives you a few more options. The first, the first block here you can see is the font the, the type of font you're using. Um, if I double click here and I highlight my font, my, my text on my page, you can see I'm using this font right here. So this entire block is all about fonts. If you want to change the font, you go into this block and you can change any font that's already installed on your computer. If you haven't got a font, if you're looking for a specific font, you must go download the font so that the font is on your computer and then you can use the font in here. If you want to make the font bigger or smaller, you can play around with this drop down menu right there. At this stage, the font size is 120 points. If you double click here, you highlight everything. You can change the font size. 8. So you've got a drop down menu here that helps you. 36, 72 like it was. No, it was 120. That's 144. Or you can double click inside the block and type in whatever you want the font size to be. So then I want to move on to the next little block, which is the font characteristics um, I'm talking about bold italics and underline if we highlight one word if you want this word bold italics or underlined this is how you do it you, you highlight it and you click on bold before I click on bold have a look at the silhouette word I'm going to click it now and then you will see it turns to bold click can you see if you want that that word italics, you click on italics and then it changes to italics or underline. Maybe not a bold underline. That's how you change the characteristic of a font. Then we move on to font justification. It is this block right here. So I highlight my entire paragraph. I click on the first one, which justifies it everything to the left or to the middle or to the right or full justification if you have a heavy paragraph with lots of words that's how you do that so the next block is the direction of the font if you click on your block if you click on your entire block this paragraphs go the direction of this paragraph is from left to right, but if you click on this one, you can have the font or the paragraph or the word or whatever you want or whatever text box you've highlighted. You can have it top to bottom or bottom to top, whichever way you choose. Let's have a look. Can you see? Then you change the, the direction of your font. The second last option I need to tell you about is the line spacing. So if you want less space between the lines, you highlight everything, your entire paragraph. And you, with this slider, you can slide left or right to increase or decrease the line spacing. If you, if you slide to the left, it decreases the line spacing. Have a look. 
Can you see? If you slide to the right, it increases the line spacing. See? Then we move on to the character spacing. It works basically the same. You go into your text box again, you highlight everything, or let's highlight one single word. This is the slider again. If you slide to the left, it will decrease the spaces between the letters. If you slide to the right, it will increase the spaces between the lettering. Let's have a look. Slide to the left, decrease. Can you see? Slide to the right, increase. Lovely. Then a last option, which is not on the textile list, I can quickly show you how to manipulate the entire text box without changing the ratio. If you click once, you have the dimension around the box. If you then increase or decrease, you can have a smaller box without a ratio change. And then you can manipulate it into a a shape or a box or wherever you want it. This is the textile menu. It's absolutely a lot of variety for you to dominate text. And that's it from me and your Silhouette Studio version 4 Designer Edition Plus software. Thank you for watching my video. Till next time, goodbye.